this is grim stuff. You, you, you probably remember Crystal Mason. Uh, you know, I did a, uh, I talked about this a lot uh, a few years ago back, excuse me, back in 2017 when she was first arrested. Um, she was a, uh, this was in Texas and she was, uh, her, her mother, she, she had, she had been convicted of a felony. She had served her time in prison. She got out of prison and uh, her mother said, you should vote. And she actually was sent a voter registration card by the state. So she filled it out and she went to vote. And when she went to vote, they couldn't find her name on the voting rolls because she was a felon and therefore she can't vote. But she didn't know that and they didn't know that. So they gave her a provisional ballot. Provisional ballots don't get counted until after the Secretary of State's office has verified that you're actually you know, a legal vote, voter. And so her vote never actually got counted because that was how they found out that she was a felon and she couldn't vote. So Greg Abbott and, uh, and, and friends uh, send the police to her to arrest her. Um, she uh, refused to plead out. They wanted to give her uh, you know, five years probation. Uh, she said, no, uh, I did not do anything wrong. And so they uh, held a trial in 2018 and they convicted her and sentenced her, this, this young black woman, sentenced her to five years in prison in 2018. Well, here we are six years later and uh, finally a, uh, an appeals court overturned the, the prosecution. But immediately, Greg Abbott's office and, and uh, the attorney general for the state, uh, this uh, extraordinarily corrupt attorney general in Texas, said that they're going to appeal the appeal. And they may even take this to the Supreme Court because they want this woman to go to prison for five years so that black people will know if you've ever been in jail and you're black, you're gonna go to jail for a long, long time if you dare to vote. <clears throat> and, and let's make no bones about it, that is what this is about. It's also happening down in Florida. Uh, Ron DeSantis started this uh, brand new uh, division of the state police uh, his election integrity uh, group. And they went out and they arrested 14 black people for voting when they were felons. Now, these people all thought they could vote for two reasons. One, there was a ballot initiative the, the previous year uh, where they gave felons the right to vote. And what these, what these ex-felons didn't know is that the Republican legislature, after the ballot initiative passed, passed a law that basically rolled back the ballot measure. You know, they, they, they just repudiated the will of the people of, of Florida. Just, you know, scratched them right out. Sorry, you know, you can't do this. And so she, you know, these, these 14 black, there was 20 people all together, six of them were white. But the 14 black ones were the ones that were paraded before the cameras. Several of them were arrested at gunpoint. They had no idea what they'd done wrong. Every single one of them had been sent a voter registration card by the state. They all thought because they were now out of jail and they had served their time that they could vote. That's what the ballot initiative was. But Ron DeSantis wanted to send the message, don't you dare vote if you're black in Florida. And what happened, that was in 2020 that that happened. And that election saw the black vote in Florida drop off by almost 10%. It was a real substantial drop in the black vote in Florida that year. And it's probably continuing. I mean, would you want to vote if you thought you might go to jail? Uh, yeah, you can feel very passionate about a candidate and all that kind of thing, but going to jail? And you figure, ah, it's just one vote. Uh, it's not worth going to jail for. So anyhow, Crystal Mason, now, now that uh, uh, Abbott wants to prosecute her all over again, she's, uh, this is from um, uh, The Guardian. She's lost multiple jobs and had trouble getting new ones because of the bad publicity from her case, nearly lost her home into foreclosure. Her kids and her mother say that some nights she would just come home and cry. Uh, you know, when she got the news of the acquittal in March, she just was so happy. And then, you know, a week later, the district attorney comes in and says, I'm appealing this case. In 2021, Texas authorities arrested Hervis Rogers, a Houston man who gained national attention for waiting seven hours in line to vote, a black man. The case was eventually thrown out on appeal, but Rogers, who is black, has since, since said he'll never vote again. In 2022, Pamela Moses, a black woman in Tennessee, was sentenced to six years in prison for trying to vote while on probation. Her conviction was later overturned when The Guardian published a bunch of documents showing that the, the prosecution 
withheld evidence in her case. There was prosecutorial misconduct. But Florida is the king of this stuff. And, and uh, you know, Florida is just ruining this. Crystal Mason, uh, you know, this was in Texas. Crystal Mason, when she showed up at her polling station in 2016, a church near her home, election workers couldn't find her name on the list of registered voters. So they offered her a chance to vote with a provisional ballot intended for exactly that kind of circumstance. If a voter shows up at the polls and there's a question about their eligibility, they cast a provisional vote that is only counted if officials later confirm the vote is el voter is eligible to cast a ballot. And she did that. But this is, this is what the Republicans are up to. I mean, we, we talked uh, with David uh, Pepper yesterday about in Ohio how they're purging hundreds of thousands of people from the voting rolls, many, if not most of them, black. And, you know, this, this is, these, these are the strategies that, that the Republicans are using to try to win the election this fall. They want, they want 100,000 election uh, observers. They want people who will watch in blue cities and red states, watch the counting of mail-in ballots so that they can say, that doesn't look to me like that signature matches, which will pull those into the provisional ballot category. In other words, they, they won't be counted until that person shows up in person, the person who mailed in the ballot. That's going to be a big one. That's going to that's going to knock tens of thousands of voters off the voting rolls in pretty much every state in the union. And then, of course, you know, purging hundreds of thousands, in some cases, millions of voters from the voting rolls. And this was all legalized, by the way, in 2018, in a five to four Supreme Court decision. Five Republicans said, "Oh yeah, it's fine. You want to you want to throw people off the voting rolls? No problem. 